now serving breakfast. As you can see, there are plenty of options. So which is right for you? A question we put to our Susan Spencer. For me next batch of Lucky Charms, Will Fulton admits that as a kid, cereal just bowled him over. So did you have a favorite? Lucky Charms was a big one. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, a lot of Rice Krispies, all the varieties, Cocoa Rice Krispies, Rice Krispie Treats. Some 20 years later, Fulton is writing for the website Thrillist, where his childhood passion launched a wild article. The assignment was basically to eat nothing but cereal for an entire week. And sure enough. And so was born a cereal, cereal eater. For 21 consecutive meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, nothing but cereal. I ate 82 bowls over the course of this oh of my God. The seven days. Yeah. As the bowls stacked up, he started seeing this lark as a social experiment to answer an existential question. What is cereal's place in my life? in the life of people our age. Cereal is a little bit like reminding yourself that you're a child, even though your parents are not there. I'm having Count Chocula tonight. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. right. But even if cereal's not on the menu, Yale University food historian Paul Friedman says the first meal of the day is also the best liked. Maybe after waking up, you're grateful to be alive another day. I'm still here. I'm still here <laughs> and I'm hungry. <laughs> For hundreds of years, breakfast was pretty standard fare. Some kind of wheat porridge, some vegetables from last night, a bacon, definitely. Good. <laughs> Everyone can relate to that. But by the early 1900s, a man named W.K. Kellogg, yes, that Kellogg, revolutionized mornings. Wheaties is the first cereal we ever launched. Kellogg's competitor, Minneapolis-based General Mills, introduced Wheaties in the 1920s. Cereal is such a big deal here. Sugar Toast Crunch and Pumpkin. It has its own president. It's a dream job. Dana McNabb. You're definitely enthusiastic about cereal I and am. certainly about breakfast. I am. But around the country, cereal fatigue may be setting in. Instead, eggs are on a roll, with breakfast sandwich sales up 10%, while cereal, though still an $8 billion industry, has dropped a billion over the past nine years. So McNabb's team got to work on re-energizing some old favorites. What does re-energizing mean? Bringing excitement back to people's relationship with cereal. You'll love the taste of chocolate and peanut butter. Excitement often seems to involve sugar, as with the new chocolate peanut butter... Let me taste this. ...Cheerios. This is breakfast dessert. <laughs> is the world a better place for having chocolate peanut butter Cheerios? I would have to say definitely <laughs> yes. McNabb says another brilliant stroke, I love Lucky Charms. shaping the marshmallows in Lucky Charms into tiny unicorns, okay. has boosted sales by double digits. That made a big difference? It you changed the shape of the marshmallow? Yeah. You had a meeting about that. Talked about, about that. the news. We did have a meeting about that. Several. Several. <laughs> it has sugar and like, Yay. kids love sugar, right? <laughs> That's a good thing, right. <laughs> Is it the most nutritious choice? Probably not. Wendy Lopez is a registered dietitian and the perfect person to ask the big question. What do you eat for breakfast? When I'm rushing, I actually have a smoothie. Usually I'll put some kind of yogurt and I'll put vegetables in there too. I know it sounds a little crazy. It sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be something like spinach or cucumber and then I'll balance it with a banana. I know your face. Sorry, I'll the build. combination just got to me. You, have you had it? Spinach and cucumber? No. Is there anything that you just absolutely cannot and your worst nightmare, imagine eating for breakfast. Pumpkin spice stuff. <laughs> I, I wouldn't Tis say. Tis the season, what yes, do you mean? Yes, exactly, I'm sorry. Pumpkin spice bacon, pumpkin spice no, eggs, no. no. I do draw the line of pumpkin spice. I'm excited. Drawing the line is what Will Fulton probably wishes he'd done. After 82 consecutive bowls of cereal, he didn't quite feel himself. Go figure. This made me lethargic. It made me confused. Of course, in fairness, nobody suggests that anybody eat Lucky Charms exclusively. No, uh, this is something I totally brought in myself. 
All my life, people have said, breakfast is the most important meal. Is that true? Eating breakfast really helps to set the tone for what you're going to be eating for the rest of the day. If I could eat my favorite breakfast every day, it would just be bacon and eggs. Do you have any favorite vegetables that you enjoy? <laughs> <laughs> Not to go with bacon and eggs in a smoothie. OK. <laughs> no. So whatever you choose, before you leave the house today, well, you know what to do.